Nina 3.0 was elevated from beta status to full release status just a few weeks back. And in this video we look at what the update to 3.0 means for you, anything you need to know about upgrading, but then we will go into an area which is really interesting if you own an eagle from Primalucha Lab or you plan actually to buy an eagle. All about that right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So let's start with Nina 3.0. And quite honestly, I wanted to do a dedicated video for Nina 3.0 until I realized that there's not much to say about it. And that's nothing negative at all. First of all, updating. If you have not yet updated, please do it. Everything will be fine. It's not like PixInsight where you have to be scared all the time that half the things will not work anymore afterwards, but it's just smooth. It's an easy update to the 3.0. There's just two things you have to keep in mind. Once you update it to Nina 3.0, you have to update each and every plugin. But that's simply going into the plugins and then click the update icons and restart it. And that's done. And the other thing that you have to keep in mind that Nina 3.0 requires the newest ASCOM platform which means you have to go to the ASCOM site and just download the newest version, install it, also that a breeze. Now, when it comes to the features, the reality is that not much changed. And personally, I would say that's nothing bad because I like Nina the way it is. There's not a lot that I would like to have changed, neither from the UI nor from the features. It's perfect the way it is. And so what the update mostly is, is an update under the hood. So being more stable, being faster. And then a lot of details which mostly have to do with the connection to some devices. So for example, if you own a Sivo device, they can now use the permanent ID of this device and stuff like that. So again, my device, upgrade by all means if you have not done it yet. And just continue exactly the same way as you have done everything before. But this advice might sound a little bit different if you own one of these, a Prima Luce Lab Eagle. And especially if you use it in combination with an echo, an environmental sensor, which in any case, if you have an Eagle, I would recommend that you also get the echo. Even you have to pay a little bit extra, but it kind of belongs to it and it doesn't really make sense otherwise. But what I will show you right now on my PC or better on the Eagle itself is how great the connection is now between Nina 3.0 and the Eagle and the Echo and what it really enables you to do what you could not have done before. And for that, we go now to my computer. Welcome to my Eagle and welcome to Nina and to be specific to Nina 3.0. Nina 3.0 looks like Nina before. There is no difference in UI. There's also not a lot of features generally, but when you have an Eagle, a lot has changed and that's what we will look at and, and the maximum we can do out of these new features, new data that we get here within Nina. So the first thing we go to switch and we activate switch. There is no native ASCOM driver anymore within Nina, but you, but you use the PLL ASCOM switch. You turn it on and there is so much more information that you had before. You have now the GPS information included. It's on zero because my Eagle is at the moment inside, but otherwise you have here the GPS data. You also have now the data of the inclinometer, but also with the switches, it now reads really what you put in the Eagle Manager, how you named each and every port, all the 12 volt ports, all the USB ports, and for the doheater ports, you now have dedicated on off switches, as well as places where you can change the voltage. And obviously all this lower part here, the switches is also available within the sequencer. Now the next thing we go to the weather, 
Also here, the new ASCOM driver is now called PLL ASCOM Observing Conditions. We switch it on, and here there's the temperature, the dew point, humidity, pressure, as well as the sky quality. Now there is one problem that always bugged me. And that is that while it's nice that you get this data here into Nina, what do you do with it? I mean, I can also go here to the Eagle Manager and I have the data here. So what does it help me to have it in Nina if I cannot use it in a sequence? And to use it in a sequence, I have to be able to use it within the realms of the safety monitor. And unfortunately, Prima Lucha Lab does not provide an ASCOM driver for the safety monitor. And the answer came as so often as a comment of my Eagle YouTube video. And somebody said, hey, there's the plugin. So I was starting to dig. So usually you would only have here the ASCOM simulation safety monitor and the NINA simulation safety device, which are just simulators. But look what else I have. Environment safety monitor driver. What's that? And you actually find that here under this URL, which I will put obviously in the description below. It's a special ASCOM driver, which actually takes environmental data of devices like of the Eagle and transforms it into safety monitor data. So what you do, you actually download here this ASCOM driver, environment safety monitor setup .zip. You execute it and that's all you need. And then you go back in Nina. And in Nina, when you found it and selected it, the first thing you do, you go here in settings and then you get into this window. So here you choose your PLL ASCOM observing conditions. So that's the same ASCOM driver that actually delivers the observing conditions to your weather. Next thing you activate it here so that this is on green and then you go here on this plug here. And now you can actually start here to set the conditions, how it's safe. For example, here I said the sky quality should be larger than 16 to be safe. I still have to see if that makes sense. I just did that recently. But anyway, because when it's getting brighter, it means that clouds are on the skies, right? Then we could say the humidity must be lower than, we can also say, for example, 80, makes probably more sense to be safe. You can take the plus and you could also set the criteria for the dew point or the temperature. If you have one too much, the minus and it's gone again. And when we now have it connected, you actually see that it shows when it's safe. And also here you see the is safe. So I took now the lid of the eye. Now it got brighter and now you see how it actually shows here that it's not safe anymore. And also here it shows it's not safe anymore. So it re reacts exactly as it should. And now that I put the lid on it again, it's green again. So with that, our safety monitor is actually set up. And from now on, we simply have to activate it when we activate the other things. So if you're not familiar with the safety monitor, you might wonder what you actually have to do now with it. And I wanna show you that if we go to the sequencer, you find actually here in the loop conditions, loop while safe, loop while unsafe. And the easiest part what you can do is simply that here in the shooting part of your sequence, you put this loop while safe in here. So what happens now is that as soon as your safety monitor says it's not safe anymore, it will abandon here the shooting and go right down here and will end the shooting close your observatory if when you have one or you can also with ground station let them give you a message that you know that something is wrong. So I believe that Nina 3.0 in connection with the new PLL ASCOM drivers really has done another big step of bringing value to the Eagle owners and a lot of the features of the Eagle make now even more sense for Nina users. I hope this was helpful and I hope it makes your whole rig safer from the rain. There are two more videos coming out about Prima Lucha Lab through the next week or two. On one side I want to show you an absolutely great focuser, the Sesto Senso 2, and how to install it 
on my new Ascar 103 APO. And on the other side, I want to show you the ghost modus, a new and unique feature that is enabled for all the Eagle users and in which also the Sesto Senso plays a role. To make sure that you do not miss these two videos, please hit the subscribe button. See you next time and clear skies.